get ready. And now. It made power and then it lost it. Yeah. That is not a little more power. That is a lot more power. Way above expectations. But I want to know what happened. There's always drama. Why has there always got to be drama? Why can't we just go fast? And I smell something funky. It's been a long time coming. Years, in fact. But we're finally at a point where we can dyno test the cheaper, easier to assemble electric supercharger that makes more financial sense than the sledgehammer does. You can replicate this thing for about 1,500 to 2,000 bucks, depending on how fancy you want to get. If you have specific questions, I'd suggest you join our forum at electrifiedboost.com. But since it's been so long since our first high powered test, it's probably worth giving you a lowdown on what this thing actually is. It features a Castle 2028RC motor, a Hobbywing Max 4 ESC, and a Speedmaster centrifugal supercharger. I'll put links to the parts that I can put links to in the description below. The mounts, belts, and drives are all fairly easy to figure out. Also, keep in mind that the LTD has a power glide transmission, which means the horsepower numbers are gonna appear a bit low compared to a modern automatic with a lockup converter or manual transmission. In fact, for the boosted numbers, you can easily add 100 rear wheel horsepower and be somewhere in the ballpark. And finally, I found out that literally three days before we shot the dyno test, Castle released some new parts which would take things up to another level. I'll get to those at the end of the video. But for now, let's go and set our naturally aspirated baseline. All right, Juan, while we're getting it up to temperature, this is gonna be our baseline pull. I don't know what it's gonna pull, but we loaded in a different map than last time before it was kind of lean. You wanna take any guesses? 344. You're being very optimistic. I am. I, I don't think so. I think it's gonna be in the 330s somewhere. I mean, the weather just sucks. Yeah. As you can tell, even the dyno jet knows it's 94 degrees. But you know what? We're gonna give it its best shot. Stand by. And now. Thirty-nine. That wasn't bad. We're close. I mean, you were pretty close. You were five horsepower off. Yeah. Three thirty-nine, huh? Okay, we got our baseline pull. Let's yeah. go make some boost. Boosty boost. <laughs> All right, full power. Let's see what happens. Let's see. Stand by. And go. She made some boost. And indeed she did. Power went up to 406 at the wheels for a gain of 67 horsepower over a 339 horsepower baseline. And torque went up to 407 pound feet for a gain of 72 pound feet of torque. But I really wanted to data log the ESC and get a little bit more data, so we made another poll. Okay, so I'm not really expecting this thing to make any more power. We just want to see if the ESC is hitting 100%. Stand by. And hold, hold, go. And 
And on that pole, we did a little bit better at 407.8 horsepower and 406 pound-feet of torque. But the boost, I think we can all agree, is pretty sad. Looking at the Mega Squirt data log, which I'll go in greater detail in another video, it showed boost at peak power as only 2.2 PSI, which is over 30 rear wheel horsepower per pound of boost, but it did show a maximum boost of only three pounds. But I did have another trick up my sleeve. And looking at the data log from the ESC, we were indeed hitting 100% throttle at 44.4 volts and 286 amps, which is about 12 and a half kilowatts or about 17 horsepower at that little RC motor. Not bad. And let's go see what that trick I had up my sleeve was and if it worked. Well, 68 rear wheel horsepower is certainly nothing to sneeze at. After all, it is more power than our first real electric supercharger made. It's only about half of what the sledgehammer made. I think this thing can do better. And this has one advantage that even the sledgehammer can't match. And what that is, is the pulley ratio here. This is a 14 tooth pulley and on the impeller shaft, you have an 18 tooth pulley. Right now, obviously, there's a, effectively a reduction going on which is pushing the castle motor over 30,000 RPM. Specifically, it's closing in on 31,000 RPM. While I don't have a power or dyno curve for the castle motor itself, most of these things actually make the most power somewhere around the middle of their range or the first third of their range. And that's because the torque does drop off fairly rapidly, but you still do need RPM to make power because as I've said a thousand times, torque is not power. It's a force, it's not power. Horsepower is power. Watts is power. Torque is not power. I've got a video on that if you want to see it. So again, what we have here is effectively a reduction. Again, 14 teeth, 18 teeth. And I let myself get talked into this because my initial setup was 22 teeth. And it just so happens that I've already got this. It's already bushed. I turned it so it's perfectly centered. Everything's great. I have a belt for it. This is actually should be a superior belt because this is actually a Gates belt. Well, is this gonna make more power? The motor is gonna spin slower. Is that gonna allow the impeller to spin faster? We're going from 14 and 18 teeth to 22 and 18 teeth. So that means instead of the motor spinning faster than the impeller, now it's gonna be the other way around. The impeller is gonna spin faster than the motor. It's so simple that I really would be kicking myself if I didn't at least give this a shot. So things are about to get really interesting. If this kind of thing floats your boat, I've got a Patreon if you wanna help support this research or even a super thanks will be much appreciated. And again, keep in mind that this car has a power glide so you can easily add 100 rear wheel horsepower to the number that you're about to see if we had a more common street type of transmission with a lockup converter. Perhaps even a bit more than 100 if it was a stick shift. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for Juan so he doesn't have to go out and get a real job. Subscribe for Juan! Subscribe for Juan! All right, Juan, what do you think? You think it's gonna make more power? I think a little bit. A little bit? Yeah, just a little. Just a little bit. Yeah, being a little pessimistic this time. How much? We were what, like just shy of 408 before. What do you think? 423. That's more than a little bit. I'll take that. Yeah. I'm not even gonna hazard a guess. I have no idea. <laughs> I mean, in theory, yeah, it should make more power. In reality, will it? I don't know. We'll find out. And now is the time. <laughs> no, 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 no. Now is the time. <laughs> it won't start. It's so. I was doing so well yesterday, too. I thought I had all the problems licked.
And now is the time. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. Yeah. Please let it make more power. Get ready. And now. It made power and then it lost it. Yeah. It made more boost. And I smell something funky. Dang. Well, how much did it make? 453. 453.67, yeah. 453. And then torque's at 447.84. That's 120 horsepower up almost. <laughs> wow. But I want to know what happened. There's always drama. Why does it always got to be drama? Why can't we just go fast? That is not a little more power. That is a lot That's more a, power. Yeah. That is a lot more power. Way above expectations. Well, five PSI, now we're actually starting to talk boost. You put two of those things together, you're starting to talk some serious boost and some serious sure. power. That's over 114 horsepower that we picked up. And that is the advantage that not only is this thing less expensive, much easier to assemble. I mean, it's less than half the price of the sledgehammer. And it is almost as good. Got some budget boost. And tunable. Yeah. It felt strong. That is an easy 600 flywheel horsepower. It's everything I promised everybody it would be. 600 to 650 flywheel horsepower capable electric supercharger for 1500 bucks. And you can put it anywhere you want, even on a bar stool in front of your car. <laughs> it's a lot more than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a lot more than I thought. In the immortal words of Matt Watson, so what exactly happened? Well, we picked up 114 rear wheel horsepower and 112 pound feet of torque. That's approaching double what we made before with the other pulleys. And boost now was over five PSI and pretty darn near that at peak power. But it certainly did look like the electric supercharger was kicking out. I wanted to make another pull so we could data log the ESC. It's a little aggressive. I mean, there's really no reason to make the sledgehammer, honestly. It's just not worth it. When you could make two and a half of these yeah. and make way more power. Stand by. Now. Did it again. 447. Yeah. It felt like it kicked out earlier that time. Yeah. The motor's hot. Hot? It's actually hot. Now, horsepower and torque didn't really change much, neither did boost. We were more interested in what was going on with the ESC. And sure enough, at 41 volts and 664 amps, it's no wonder the ESC and the motor were shutting down. That's over 27,000 watts or over 35 horsepower going through that little castle motor and that hobby wing ESC. So after two seconds, the ESC said no more, but to its credit, it didn't blow up. But yet there's another trick that we have available that I found out was released literally three days before we shot the dyno portions of this video. And I'm gonna get to that next. So there you have it. We picked up 114 rear wheel horsepower, but we do have a new challenge ahead of us. And as I mentioned earlier, Castle Creations has just released a 30 horsepower motor and their own high powered ESC, which I'm gonna try to get my hands on to test. The motor we used is rated for a peak of around 20 horsepower. We pushed over 35 out of it. So obviously it got hot. And I also wanna test these things in compound setups and in parallel boost setups to see what kind of horsepower they can make. So definitely subscribe because there's a lot more cool stuff coming up. And of course, I didn't forget your moment of Roger. <laughs>